Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Good, good, I hope. Uh, my name is Matthew. And, uh, I'm Dexter. And uh, we're doing the Revitalize the PDS uh, challenge, um, which is the revitalizing the planetary data system, STATA. Uh, part of that challenge is understanding the data that's, that's available, as well as making it accessible. So the way we decided to implement our solution is to first uh, use the Horizon data that was, uh, a, that was available and create an API. Um, so it, and then a part of that is also creating the supporting documentation. Uh, and then we also created a simple web interface to, to leverage this API uh, and that we'll show you later on. So Matt, how would we use this? So there are a couple ways that we can use it. Scientists can use it for trajectory analysis. NASA can use it for uh, planning asteroid missions, um, asteroid mining missions, sorry, as well as uh, impact, from, uh, impact monitoring from asteroids. Uh, we devs can use them for making 3D games with real data, uh, making solar system simulations, and uh, this challenge right here. So hopefully next year you'll use ours for the challenge. C can you show us how it's done right now? I guess so. Okay, so this is basically how you would go through Horizons data from oh, how it's already available. So it's really, oh, we lost the connection. Sorry, right, guys. It's okay, one second. Basically, it asks you a bunch of questions and you have to go through a bunch of loops to get the data that you're looking for. And it's only visual data. You can't actually use it for anything. So uh, Dex, how do, we, uh, how do we change that? So what we've, uh, what we've done is, uh, like I had mentioned previously, is created this API. Uh, and now we have it working through, us, uh, through the simple uh, web interface. So it's like a simple form um, where the user would now just int like very visually select uh, either a list of uh, uh, different planetary bodies that's available uh, in the data or a specific body uh, I, a body that they know, enter in the value that they require, and it would pop up in this uh, neatly formatted uh, JSON reply. Um, so it's a lot more intuitive for someone who doesn't know how to use their Horizon data set uh, through, this, through this API. So going forward with this, um, we want to make it better performance. It's very slow right now, just dealing with going through Telnet. Uh, we'd like to uh, make it out to the full uh, capabilities of, tel of uh, the Horizon data set. And then beyond that, we want to ex expand to other data sets that are available uh, within the uh, planetary data system. And then uh, beyond that, tutorials to help everyone else. So we couldn't have done it just by ourselves. This is a, a team of four plus as well as Heather's help. Um, and uh, it was a great team. Shout out to them. Woo! <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, the, the beta is available at the link below and the source code is available from GitHub. Oh.